Mali. I had to get into that journey, and uh, that was the last one we did, which was good, uh, because that was, uh, I guess, the most challenging for obvious reasons. And then, but when I was working with Salma, I was into the pain of, on, on the thing of being connected by the two pain and love that that story uh, demands. So I didn't really, but of course she was the guardian. She was telling us where are the links between that Leo and this Leo and this Leo, because he's the same person. So when you forget, she will let you know. Remember, you're the same person. So there are certain things that can be seen that reminds you of the same person. <laughs> oh. Okay. I, yeah, I, I think for for me, um, my character particularly, I was just focusing on our story, but also my character is also really about making choices um, in her life. So for me, I was kind of always in the middle of something. While playing Molly, she there is, uh, you know, as a caretaker, her work and her personal life is something that comes secondary, but also it could come first. So there's always this kind of balance of trying to calibrate um, what choices she's going to make, and make, and, and and then you know at the end there, you do kind of see another version of herself going off in another direction and so I mean the concept to me is just so beautiful because I think a lot of us always dwell on making the right choices in life and it's beautiful to, to think of other yous out there kind of making those choices that you were too scared to make um, so uh, yeah as, as Molly she, she's constantly she's not a very settled person yet she's kind of constantly in the middle my uh, my existential crisis had more to do with the ceasing to exist, so it's a little bit different um, than than Javier's or what El had or what Molly had to do uh, with Leo. But what was very inter interesting, and it talks about the consistent hand of a director and the wonderful synergy that happens when you connect with a director and their mind and their soul was that I haven't seen the movie. I'm very, very excited. <laughs> uh, do you recommend it? Should I watch it? <laughs> but in my, in my story, that it's completely oblivious of the main story of the film, she in the rehearsal, and I, so and there were a couple of lines where I don't know if they survived or not. She talks about that in this couple, she might have had a different choice for a, for a different life, and and so I did build an important part of my relationship with Javier, even if we didn't talk about it, even if there's no lines in there with this uh, horrible frustration of uh, deception to herself, was I the wrong choice for him? Because we're going through pain. And so even if the, the theme of the movie I made sure I followed the theme of the movie, even if my story had nothing to do with the rest of the movie. And we were always very respectful also of what, on what note we ended or started one theme, thinking of her editing. So it was a very unusual way for me to work because I was part of a story that was not the story of a film that was a, a parallel little bubble in the character's brain. And I cannot be aware of that as an actress, as the character. As a character, I cannot be aware of that. But simultaneously, 
as an actress without being distracted. I have to be aware of it and respectful so that I can still be part of the film and not completely isolated in the, you know, years. <laughs> <laughs>